this goes really good if you mix it with other almond scents. Um, it just sweetens it up, but I wear it on its own all the time. Norway 
sailor 
Islanders and their fish and fisher folk from the coasts of Greenland and North Atlantic and right through the Scandinavian waters. Some sailors were so afraid of it that they wouldn't even utter the word Kraken without the fear of that this would indeed summon it. In the Icelandic saga Orvar Oder, it mentions the Hafgafa, which is the Kraken. It says, now I will tell you that there are two sea monsters. One is called the Hafgafa Sea Mist and the other Linkbacher. Linkbacher. The, back. the Lingbacher is the largest whale in the world, but the half Guffa is the largest monster in the sea. It is the nature of this creature to swallow men in ships and drag them down with its arms and even whales and everything else within its reach. It stays submerged for days, and then it rears its head and nostrils above the surface and stays that way until the change of the tide. The, the appearance of the kraken resembled a giant squid with huge suckers and tentacles were often described so it is thought that perhaps sightings were indeed just that, huge giant squids. Some descriptions though included spikes on the arms and huge teeth, so not quite what a usual giant squid would look like. The kraken reflected the unfathomable and wild nature of the sea and its unpredictability. The plant companion is the fir tree and the crystal companion is olivine. So, I'm terrified of deep sea. Like, I don't think I'd ever do. Well, I want to do a cruise, but I'm terrified of the sea, so I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay. So that is... Treasure. Both terrible. 
warning can be. If you are given a warning, you should heed it. If someone shows you who they are, believe them. Understand your current limitations, yet extend your skills. Your intuition may be asking you to be aware of danger. Pay heed. Duality. Warning slash ignorance. Most people would be familiar with the most famous water kelpies. That one that lives in Loch Ness. So are they... Is the Loch Ness monster supposed to be a kelpie? In Scotland, those famous dark curling umps rising above. The quiet depths of the lock have captured our imagination and sent shivers up our spines for a very long time. A kelpie is a shapeshifter, normally one that changes from its more monstrous form in the water to a land-based animal like a black horse. And pretty much every decent-sized body of water in Scotland has a kelpie attached to it. The word kelpie itself comes from the Gaelic word kelpage, kelpage, meaning cold. The kelpie has hooves, but they are backward facing, and sometimes the kelpies sing haunting songs that are very pleasing to the ear, and they lure their prey. Kelpies are also said to be able to transform into non-equine land creatures, including human forms. These forms can be both male and female, young or old, but normally you can tell who they are because their hair is almost always wet and they may have seeds and flowers from the water in their hair, or they may be wearing a silver necklace that is their bridal when they are in their horse form. One myth tells of a young woman court being courted by a handsome young man. He always wears a nicely forged silver, silver necklace, and his curly hair is so black and shiny it seems to have a sheen of water upon it. She suspects that perhaps he is a kelpie, so he decides to remove his necklace while he sleeps so that when they are on the picnic, when they are on the picnic together, he immediately transforms into his equine form, and she takes him back to their farm and has him work for a whore, as a horse for a time. Her anger is dishonesty wears off, and she misses her love, so she consults the wise woman of the village to see what the best course of action should be. The wise woman takes the necklace and puts it around the horse's neck. The kelpie transforms into his human form. She asks the kelpie whether he wishes to be with the young woman or go back into the water. And the kelpie says that he will stay in human form, thus becoming mortal, if she agrees to marry him. The young woman accepts him as her husband, and the kelpie stays in human form, giving up his immortality. <laughs> 